This is the Exadraft particle filter. Hello and welcome to a very exciting video. We've been making some shorts about how we've got to this point so far, so hopefully you've enjoyed the journey thus far. Um, this is the Exadraft particle filter uh, and um, it was delivered to me the other day and now we're going to unbox it and have a little look. I've mentioned already some things about this product because um, it's about sort of removing all the particulates from, or 95% from the, the flu. So this is a piece of equipment that goes on the top of your, you, so you'd install your stove normally. Yeah. And then you, this goes at the top. Rather than having a normal cowling, yeah. this is your cowling. And it does a couple of things which are phenomenal. One is remove 95% of the particulates, which is bonkers. Some stoves, when you open the door, you get spillage. But because this is an exadraft, so it's, it's a powered flue, it's creating some suck, I very much think that you should have a chimney that draws on its own first. Then when you add one of these, it creates a suck, which means that you, um, you don't get that spillage issue. It also means it's fantastically easy to light. You know, I'm saying this, this is all theory at this stage because I clearly haven't installed it yet. <laughs> so we've got some screws and some things. This is the adapter. Now we have a flange. Um, that looks remarkably similar to the adapter. And then we've got the, what I presume to be the most exciting bit. That goes on top of your chimney. What are you learning? Well, it, it's cleverer than I initially thought. It turns itself on when it senses temperature change. And then, you know, when you stop reloading your stove, the temperature starts dropping. And then when it drops below 40 degrees, the thing will turn itself off, go into sort of sleep mode, which is fantastic. You don't even have to think about it. No. You don't have to do any effort, you know, once you've had it installed and I also sort of you know some big mechanical contraptions are not very nice looking but that's pretty it's quite sleek isn't it it's pretty inoffensive isn't it mm. and then it needs mains it, it sort of yeah so they, they um connects I, to your I mean at the moment we've just got an earth alive and a um, mm -hmm. neutral but I presume I can just wire that into a plug. That's what I intend to do. Just plug it in. It's got a nice, it's got like a little off and on switch on the back, which is like everything looks very professional. Mm -hmm. Like it's typical Scandinavian. It's packaged beautifully. Everything is, you know, properly marked up. Like we've got, you know, QR code, get your manual. I mean, it comes with a manual generally anyway, but it's very, very professionally done. We've evidently got a two year warranty. Yeah, th this uses hardly any electrical power at all. It uses two watts whilst it's not on and sort of 50 to 90 whilst it is on. So it's definitely not gonna be expensive to run. And yeah, I'm just very, very excited to give it a go. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in the next video.